<sighs> I'm not crazy. I just, I needed that to get done. All right, so you've seen me do crochet videos. You've seen me do everything that I've crocheted in the last six months, everything I've crocheted in the last year type of videos. Well, today is gonna be a little bit different because it's gonna be everything that I have crocheted that I've never worn. Yeah, okay? So here's the thing. A lot of the stuff I crochet, I use, I wear, great. But then there's that select few things that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. And because it just doesn't fit me the way I want it to, I don't wear it. I don't use them and I feel really bad so we're just gonna go over everything today and show you that it's okay not to love everything that you crochet. This is kind of like a part one video because eventually when I have a little bit more free time because I'm currently working on a bunch of projects I'm always working on a ton of projects but eventually I want to do a video where I fix all the things I don't like about the things that I don't like and then I'll be able to wear them. Yay! I'm actually gonna be starting at the beginning so I'm I'm gonna be going back, back years, maybe like two years, has that already been two years? To my first creations and then work my way up to present day. Another thing I do want to say is a few things, it's not like I've never ever ever worn them, I've worn them like once or twice and realized I don't like them. I didn't make something and be like I hate it and then throw it away. I gave it a shot and I just didn't like the fit or I didn't like how it looked. So that's that that take that into a factor as well in this video. Anyhow, first up is this. I know this was my very first crochet cardigan that I've ever made. A first crochet clothing piece that I've ever made. And it took me so long to do. It took me so long to do. I feel like it took me like two months, especially with this type of granny square. And you can see all the imperfections on the inside. It's actually really cute. Why have I not worn it? Like I made this in 2021. I think I wore it two times in 2021. Didn't wear it at all during 2022. And of course I haven't worn it at all during this year. I think the main reason why I didn't like this is just the fit of it. It just fit a little bit weird. Again, this was my very first cardigan that I've ever made. Kind of knew what I was doing, but also I didn't know what I was doing when it came to the overall fit. And again, because I've made these mistakes first, I've learned from them. And of course you've seen my other cardigans since, and I have improved upon them. I feel like the neck, just didn't feel right. I didn't like how the neck was. I think what I would have done is I think I would have added an extra row in the back because there's two, two, and then four on the back. So it's like a mirror image, but I didn't give like a square, like a line for the back, like for my spine, if that makes sense. So I feel like it just doesn't like sit properly on me. But if I had like an extra row in the middle, I think that would have been beneficial. Also, I feel like the way that I joined them together, again, first cardigan, I actually crocheted them together where now I use a yarn needle and I do like the mattress stitch. If you don't know it, definitely look it up because I'm really bad at explaining things sometimes. It's an invisible join and it just makes it look so nice and clean. Okay, this. I don't know why I stopped wearing it. I thought it was more uncomfortable. It's not bad. I think the whole reason why I wasn't wearing it is because of underneath here. A lot of the cardigans that I've made going forward, they've been a little bit more billowy. So I think that's maybe the reason why I haven't worn it. Also, it being my first crocheted item, I didn't really know how it was supposed to fit or how it was supposed to feel. So I think like right here and right here bugged me. But then as I started making other projects, I realized like, that's just, that's just how crochet things fit. Overall, it doesn't really fit bad. Like just again, like right here is just a little uncomfortable, but it also might be because it's super hot outside. And like, that's why I have to pin my hair back because it is frizzing like crazy. So I mean, wearing crochet items in the middle of the summer, it's not the most comfortable thing to do. But yeah, overall, I don't hate it as one well, didn't hate it, but I, I like it more than I thought I would, so. Hmm. Up next is this sweater here. This is actually a strawberry sweater 2.0 because what I ended up doing, and I've actually made two videos. The one video is me making these strawberries, but then putting them on a sweater that I had thrifted, but I didn't like the fit of the sweater. So what I ended up doing, which was another video, I harvested the strawberries and then I took apart that sweater, rolled it up into yarn, and then proceeded to make this cardigan. Now, because it was me and I was a little bit lazy, I kind of took the easy way out and I did a double crochet because I'm like, it will get done faster. Well, the double crochet, I don't like it. I don't like the fit of it. And I think I mentioned that in that video, okay? This is from 2021. I just don't like how baggy it is. I wish that the knit 
like this crochet was a single crochet or at least a half double. The double was just way too much. I don't know. I just don't like the fit of it. That's that's the thing. I think most of these items, I just don't like the fit of it. So my plan for this is to take the whole thing apart. Also, when I took the yarn apart, I didn't like wash it and I think I should have. But now I have the the yarn spinny thing. I'll put the photo here. Why I never can remember what the name is. And then when I look it up, I'm like, oh, of course that's the name. How did I forget that? Well, I forgot it again. But I think what I'll do is when I undo this yarn because it was an older sweater that I thrifted so who knows how old the yarn actually was I'm going to do the windy thing and then I'm going to wash it and then I'm gonna respin it but I love the strawberries the strawberries are so cute I also think that I probably should attach them better but thank goodness I didn't attach them because then that would be more work for me now to unattach them all you see how long these arms are they're too long I mean the middle part is fine I mean I know I could do that but they're just they're too chunky or too chunky. I also don't know if I love the strawberries on the sleeve anymore. I just want the strawberries more spaced out on the front here. The arm doesn't start until my elbow. That's where the arm starts. The arm should start up here and then like the sleeve length is actually fine. The sleeve length would be perfect if the sleeve length started where it needed to start, which is up here, but it doesn't. So like this whole panel goes right to there where it shouldn't. So again, this was I think the third cardigan I've ever made you know I've learned going forward and this is one I definitely would like to fix before the fall so I can wear it during the fall. The next item isn't really it's a thrift flip it's a thrift flip. I thrifted this sweater it was originally a sweater and then I cut it down the middle to make it a cardigan but I did crochet all of these little tiny flowers and sewed them onto this cardigan. I think it was just the way that the sweater fit me that I never wore it. I also feel like I made this closer to the springtime. And what usually happens is when I make projects closer to the springtime, I forget they exist because then it is spring and it is warm and it is too hot to wear these items. This one I made in 2022 early 2022. I think it might have been like February, March or something. But uh, yeah, I just thought I would include it because the flowers are really cute. I just don't really like the fit of it. So I don't know if I'm going to just detach the flowers and put them on something else or maybe just learn to like how this fits. I don't know yet. I kind of remember why I didn't wear it. It's just the way that it is, is just a little too billowy because it was not meant to be a cardigan. It was meant to be a sweater, right? But because it's open now, the sleeves are kind of weighing everything down. So like when I go like this, this feels like it wants to like just come off my shoulders, which is not what I'm going for. So that's kind of maybe the reason why I haven't really worn it. Maybe if I put like a little clip here, but I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of the sweater itself. The little flowers, love. And maybe I'll crochet a sweater and crochet more of these flowers. We'll see. Like just me talking, this just keeps trying to open up and fall off. So I remember now why I don't wear it. The next item I was like really excited about but it just didn't work out. That's this. Does anyone remember when I tried to make a lampshade? I love the concept. I love what I did in here. I love it, but I used um, coat hangers. And I mean, the shape, it just didn't work out. Now I've seen videos where people will get balloons and then they will put their crocheted item on there and then they use some type of paste to put on here and then that way the shape becomes the shape of the balloon, I guess. I feel like that's what it is. So that's something that I would like to do. It just is going to be a lot of work to take off. These ends aren't actually crocheted onto here. Like I attach this onto the wire. So I have to do a lot of cutting out, but I think eventually I'll like to do that. It's just right now I have a lamp that I love that I actually thrifted around the same time that I finished this one. So then I had that one. I'm like, well, I don't really need this one because I have that one. Yeah. I would like to redo this in a better way. Something that like it puffs out a little bit more because I just, I don't, I don't like the shape. I love the idea. I just don't love the shape of it. And then I made some other stuff in the summer. Everything was great until the fall time. Last fall, I had this idea where I was going to be wearing a lot of like pinks, oranges, reds, yellows, and I made two sweater vests to go with that theme. I just don't like the fit of them. I've never worn them outside the house. To me, these feel like they are life jackets. They're just very constricting and I hate how they feel. Like I hate how they feel on me. I didn't even do the ends because I knew I wasn't gonna wear it when I was done. I just, I thought I could make a little bit of a difference if I made it a little bit more cropped. I don't know, I just don't care for it. Now I don't remember what I did. These look like half doubles. If I were to do this again, one 
would not pick this yarn. This was the Michaels Craft Smart yarn, and I picked it because I loved the colors. Like, you can't get it in the impeccable yarn, so I love the colors of these. I don't like the weight of yarn. The weight of yarn is just really, really thick, and because of that, I just don't like how it fits me. So, eventually, I would like to take these apart and redo them with the same yarn, so I'm not, like, wasting yarn, but maybe doing it double stitch or a triple stitch. It's just way too thick for myself, and maybe if I just wore it on its own okay but I don't like doing that I like having sleeves so these two eventually I'll have to do something with them I really don't want to put this on it's just ugh. all right so here's this one now this one was my first one that I made and then the second one that I made which I'll show you in a minute I've made the changes kind of but I still didn't like it I'm trying on all these things so now my hair is like you know it's not bad I think that this is a little bit too broad for my taste I think that maybe what if I just took the if I took the ribbing off if I took the ribbing off maybe it could work yeah it's not bad I think that maybe the ribbing might be a bit too tight on the bottom here I was trying to cinch it in when I didn't really need to so let's see what that would you know what I don't hate it if I take all the ribbing off the top and the ribbing off the bottom I think it looks a little bit better um I think the V might be a little bit too much just like too much I don't know so I'm going to put on the second version of this vest now okay so I like the way this fits a little bit better, but now I feel like it's too short. I think the broad shoulders work better with this because it is more of a square where the other one was more like longer. Like if I just hold this up, see it is a little bit longer i love these colors together it's not bad it's just i don't know i'm just looking in the mirror it's just it's a little too life vest for me it's a little too tight and i'm not the biggest fan of the ribbed arms i know like i love them but i just don't know if i like them on here i think for this one it needs to be a little bit longer i also feel like the stitch needs to be different i tried the vests last year and it just didn't work out for me i know what i want to try and i know what i want to do so I'll try that eventually. Next up, I actually wore this item one time. This sweater here. Now this one, which has thread on it, was the sweater that I made for my birthday. It was like my little birthday sweater. I really like it, but what I don't like about it is the bottom. I don't like how cinched in I made it. I really wish I would have made it not cinched in, but at the time I was making everything cinched in, but now I'm like, I don't like it. So I think for this, what I will have to do is I'm just going to eventually take the bottom ribbing off and make it a little bit looser. And then I think that this would be something that I would wear more I just don't like how like puffy it makes me I don't know it's all in my head but it matters everything else is fine like this part is fine everything is fine it's just this I don't like how it goes in like that I just don't like the cinched in look I think that if it was just more flat I think it would look a little bit more flattering on me I think it would fit a little bit better I also feel like maybe the squares could have been a little bit smaller I just think that the bottom needs to be changed and that is something that I definitely want to get done so I can wear it during the fall because I love this it's so cute look it it looks like I'm a balloon it's making me look like the hunchback of Notre Dame which is not the vibe I would like to take the bottom ribbing off I think that will solve my problem and if it doesn't solve my problem I don't know what to tell you and then another Another one that I don't like the bottom of, I'm just, I'm just gonna grab it, is this one here. This one's technically not included in this video just because I didn't have a lot of time to wear it because I made it in December. So I didn't have a lot of time to wear it for like that one month of Christmas, right? Because once January comes, I'm not gonna wear this, right? It's, it's Christmas themed. But I wish the ribbing, like see, like it was stretched out like this, but it's like this. So I think the ribbing just needs to be a little bit more stretched out. But otherwise, like I didn't want to include this in this video just because I was not given enough opportunities to wear it after I had made it. Now this one here breaks my heart a little bit that I was, that I just don't like the fit of it. This Wednesday Adams vest that I tried to recreate from the show. I just don't like it. It's the way that it fits me is just very boxy. One of the things I had to do was actually take in this but then it gave me like these padded shoulders, which you know I'm not a fan of. If anything comes with shoulder pads, I rip those out the second I get home. And then I also found that I made it way too long. So then I had to like cut all the bottom pieces off. And then I'm just left with like some mess at the bottom. And the yarn choice, I did pick a, a thinner, finer yarn. I think it was the Pat Tons. I should have picked the Pat Tons Astra yarn. That would have been really nice. Even though I picked a lighter yarn, it's just very dense. I learned from this. So I learned 
learned that I don't actually like this yarn for a project like this. So in the future, if I decide to remake this, if I decide to make something else, I know that this yarn just wasn't the right choice. You can just clearly see why I haven't worn it. It's just way, way too big. I, I don't, look at this. I made it, I think one, way too big and two, I just, it just, I don't like it. I'm sorry. It's just something that I'm not into. And I've actually worn it with like, you know, a buttoned up shirt with a little, you know, collar. See if that made any difference. Look at these. Okay. I'm just giving football player, an emo football player. This is what it is. And just looking at it more makes me a little, a little bad because I really spent a lot of time working on this and it just didn't turn out the way I want. The next item I love but there's just something small that I want to fix, but I'm like, let's just include it in this video. The Fall Out Boy sweater that I made. <laughs> if you've watched this video, you know how much I struggled with it. <laughs> Remember the brunette yarn situation? That's the reason why I look at uh, lot dye colors now. This down is a different color than this up here. Well, I discovered that after I made this whole face and I wasn't going to redo it. But that's not why this is in the video. The reason why is this neck. I don't like the neck. I don't like it. I don't like it. And the next project that I made after this, I realized that I don't like this neckline anymore and I ended up making a really cute little pointed collar. So I just wanted to include this because I will be taking this collar off sooner than later. That way I can wear it in the fall, even though it is the end of July. I am going to be putting a pointed collar on here just with the same white yarn. I mean, it looks cool. I really like it. I think I made it like a little bit too wide. I probably could have taken it in a bit. And, and here's the thing. I'm actually working on another project that uses the same brand of yarn and I've made those adjustments. So hopefully that pans out a bit better than this one. This collar is too snug and too itchy. And like I've made collars before and they've worked out fine. But for some reason, this one just isn't, just isn't working for me. But everything else I guess is fine. I wish I would have made it a little bit longer. I mean, I haven't worn it. I feel like if I wear it more, it will stretch out just a little bit more at the bottom. I think the arms are fine. It's just this collar. If I could just take it apart right now, I would. Where's my scissors? I'm gonna do it. I'm taking this collar off. I hate it. If I don't take it off, I'm never gonna do it. I have more white yarn. Don't worry, people. Why did I pick these scissors? I don't know. I wouldn't be reusing this collar yarn anyways, because I'm making a, like a little collar, like a pointed collar. I need more yarn than this. Also, like if I don't do it, if I don't cut it off, I'm never gonna get to it now. Now I have to do it. Now I have to do it. I can breathe a little bit more now. I don't know why it was so constricting. <sighs> I'm not crazy. I just, I needed that to get done. Now the next one I'm going to show you is this one here. Now this one was part of my mystery crochet project. That's why it is in black and white right now. I don't want to spoil it. So if you are interested in watching that video right now of me making this, but it's like mystery. So you don't know the colors until the end. Here's the video link. If you want to go click that, if not, I am going to be going back into color in three, two, one. Here it is in color. I never wore it. I've never worn this. This was kind of made because I wanted to make this type of cardigan shirt thing, but I didn't want to buy yarn. So I ended up using yarn that I had thrifted and it was these two colors, but they're giving more baby blanket. This blue teal just isn't really my colors. I thought maybe I would like it a little bit more for the summer. I just don't like it. So I've never worn it. Also, I feel like the sleeves are a little too long. I should have made them probably like this. They should have been a little bit shorter. I know that now it's cute. It just, it's not my style. It's just not my style right now. Maybe in the future it will become my style. Maybe it'll just be like a cute little like house coat kind of thing. So you can definitely see what I'm talking about with the arms, how they're just way too long. And I think it, the only way the arms would work long is if this also was longer, but I really like the length of it. I love the style. It's super cute. I just think that the arms should have ended up there. Okay. If they would have ended up there, I think that would have been super super cute the problem with this and the reason why i can't actually take it apart is because it is a hexagon cardigan it's like hexagon so if you look here this thing right it's just one big piece so in order unfortunately to bring this in i would have to undo most of this project because it just goes in the circle so i have to undo everything it's not like one of my other projects where i could just unravel this to here. That's just not the case with this type of shirt. I think this will be perfect in the wintertime when I'm crocheting. So I don't need to have sleeves here because I'll be crocheting. But if I want my upper arms to be warm, I think this is what it's meant to be for. And the last item I didn't wear is also a little bit of a bummer just because I haven't worn it. This one here, which is 
technically the same thing as the last one, but I learned from that and I made the changes to here. The thing is, is that I picked the wrong yarn because I did it with Hobie and because I did it with Hobie, it's from Denmark. I can't see the yarn before I get to it and that's why I like going yarn shopping in person because I can actually see and physically touch the yarn. The yarn was just way too small. It was way too small that I had to double up the yarn and because I had to double up the yarn, this thing is a little hefty and it's a little uncomfortable to wear. So if I would have went up one yarn size, I wouldn't have had to double it up and it would have been a lot lighter and I think I would have actually worn a bit more. Now the other thing why I haven't worn it is because I don't like the sleeves. I don't like what I did here. So what I ended up doing was I made the front two pieces. I made the back pieces and then I made the sleeve. I made the sleeve pieces and then I attached everything together but what I should have done I should have made the two front pieces the back pieces connected them at the sleeves and then I should have like laid them flat like this you know and then crocheted the sleeve right onto it and that's kind of why I haven't worn it I think I am gonna make that change I don't know if I'm gonna make it for this year maybe we'll see it's not a big deal. It's just the thought of taking something apart. It's just I don't want to do it. Everything else is pretty cute. I like the colors. I like how it's striped. This right here, I don't know, probably no one will ever notice it, but I'll notice it and so it bugs me. I think the last time I wore it, which was literally for the video, like the video that I made it, I had it buttoned up, but like it unbuttoned with this cute little bird shirt. I'm not mad at that. You can see the sleeve. It kind of looks like a little like of a bell sleeve. It goes down and then out. I don't really want that. I just want it to be like one piece. So that is the reason why I will be taking this sleeves off I just want it to look more cohesive but overall the fit of it is good it's just it's just the sleeves that pretty much does it for this video I mean here's the thing out of all the stuff that I've made I've made way more that I still wear that I still love because I've learned my lesson from I don't want to call it the reject pile but you know the pile of clothes that just didn't quite make the cut I know where I went wrong I know what I want to change I just don't know when I'm gonna make those changes. So that's why I kind of say this is like a part one of a video because eventually when I make part two, I'm going to reference this one to watch if you wanna see why I'm changing some things. And then the part two will be me actually changing those things. So if you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can follow me on Instagram and my TikTok. I think that's it. So y'all have a good day now.